Hi guys, today we will teach you to create your own emoticons with Paint.net and you will need two tools. You will need Paint.net and you will need the Glid slash uh, Check Border Marker plugin. The, you, the links are on the description. Just click on the first one, you will download it. Gosh, I think I already have it on the, my... Yeah, then press Ctrl Z, go to Programs and Paint.net, Effects and paste it. I will not paste it because I already have it like you can see. So now let's close and we have everything we need. Oh my gosh. Now let's return to Paint.net and now let's create our emoticons. So first of all, open the original uh, emoticons. Here you have. And now let's create a new layer. The layer will be up here, but you don't want to. The, it needs to be on the second. So press here, and the layer will be down of the background. The background have the emoticons. So now uh, click on the layer two that have that will have a glid. The glid is really important. Go to render glid checkboard, and then in each of the, or each of the value values should be one to eight. 128 and you should choose this second mode because it will be really useful you can choose the, the other one but uh, choose the second one it's the best for working now let's press ok and now you have a uh, glid and you have the emoticons now let's press the background and now we can start editing so I will not edit many I will edit like the whoop not to whoop, I will edit this this one. It's just it's just a mark and I can make a mark. Gosh, it's not writing. Okay. Let's just let's change the font to I don't know Comica? Comica sa Comica. I like Comica. And change the value. You can use all the space with the color, so this space has the the white color, so you can choose, uh, you can use all this area for this one, all this white area, and for the arts you can use all this area, etc, etc. So after making uh, all the emotions, you, you will press the layer 2 that have the glid and the colors, and you will click on this... Uh, on this button over here and all the color will disappear I have a little fail here well it's okay and now you have your honor emoticons ready to go so just save it it will uh, ask you for to to use a different format it's the paint.net format but you don't want to you will use the PNG one or the yeah the PNG one and you will save it I will replace it, it's, everything is ok. Then press, uh, press this button over here, it's saving and now it's done. So now let's see the final result. So guys, I'm here again and now let's check the differences. So this is the same icon because I have not changed it. But let's see, I have this heart, cool. I have these three dots, I have the sorry. I have the the happy look and I have the mad one with some bugs. Well and now you can see that everything is working fine. So now you know how to create your honor emoticons and you can create your our uh, your good emoticons because I'm not a good artist but I'm sure you are. So create your honor emoticons and thanks for watching. Bye bye, and I'm Ariel Zoff. Subscribe to our studio, that's really important. And goodbye. If you want to create uh, mappers, you just need to use the same process as the emotions, but the grid should have 64 by 64. And now you can uh, configure it however, you, uh, the way that you want to. And by the way, if you want to create skins, you just need to open a skin 
and we go to and use the value 32 by 32 has a glitch Yes, okay, and now you can uh, create your owner skins as well. Well, thanks for watching. Bye bye, and I'm Rails off.